Okay, point turns and swing turns. This always confuses people. So point turns will turn your robot very quickly and very precisely because one wheel is going in one direction and one goes in the other direction. And it does it without you having to change any numbers. You just say point, uh, point turn right 0.25 seconds or whatever and it goes and turns it just real fast. Swing turns are more when one wheel is either stopped entirely and the other wheel turns to guide the vehicle around it or one wheel goes super slow and the other one turns much faster. So if you've got one wheel turning off and the other one turning on to make a turn, that's going to be a swing turn. And depending on how fast you're running, the inside wheel, how, the inside motor, depending on how fast that goes, will determine on how wide that turn is. You want that to be a nice tight swing turn, then you're going to turn that motor off. And be careful because I've watched more than a few students spin their robot around for like five minutes because they told it to point turn and they forgot to tell it to stop. Um, so be careful with those turns. What I'd like you to do is to program your test bed and because your motors on, are on either side, we can actually practice our turns. So I want you to run both motors forward full speed for two seconds. Then do a point turn to the right for two seconds. Stop. And then I want you to do the exact same thing, but now turn it into a swing turn. And I want you to look at the difference. And if it means you have to put your hands on the wheels to feel them, one going forward, one going backwards, or one going slow and one going fast, then do that. Because you really need to cement that in your head, the difference between a point turn and a swing turn. Again, I've given you the example of what the code is going to look like for the point turn. That would just say swing turn when you want to do your swing turn. So give that a try and let me sign off for you.